well, well, what do we have here? You were meant to be here three hours ago. Come on, we're gonna be late to record the video. Follow on, follow on. Jesus Christ, you're gonna give me a heart attack when you approach me like that again. So here we are in, in the Polybrow kitchen. Uh, we're gonna be making a cake today to celebrate 1,000 subscribers. Woo hooray, give us a cheer in the comments. So I have all my ingredients pre-prepared, pre-prepared. Pre pre prepared ready in front of me here. We've got white stuff, we've got more white stuff, we've got cocoa powder, we've got more white stuff and more white stuff. We've got two free range eggs here, fresh, fresh from the cat. We've got some milk here, we've got some vanilla extract, and we've got some vegetable oil. I almost said oil powder then, that doesn't, not very powdery is it? The recipe I'm using is from like BBC or something, I don't know. I'm gonna say it's why like Mary Berry to make it sound better than it is. Uh, we have a bowl and we have ingredients and we're gonna put everything in the bowl. Preheated down oven to uh, 180 degrees or 160 degrees Celsius. And then we have two pre-greased, pre-parchment papered, eight inch, eight inch, yes, eight inch uh, sandwich tins right here, ready for, ready for, uh, briefing yeah let's just start cracking things into our bowl i um, the only thing we're cracking is the eggs let's not crack anything else so we're going to start by tipping in all of our flour oof there we go some bicarbonated sugar it didn't say to sieve it so if it turns out all lumpy then uh it's not my fault blame bbc blame mary berry then we have our cocoa powder that's about all the names i know for everything we're adding today firm we have our other white stuff yeah, here we have some more white stuff. Every, every, yeah, just it's just all white stuff. That's brown stuff as well. Now I don't think there's any specific order, so we're gonna I'm gonna say we're gonna crack our free range Jack the Cat eggs in. So let's go. Let's see. Let's see how badly I do it. That was pathetic. That was the worst thing I've ever done. That was probably the worst egg crack anyone could have ever done. Can't wait to get salmonella all over my phone. I just haphazardly left on the workplace. Egg number two. <laughs> progress. Progress. <laughs> Worse. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands so I don't get food poisoning. Yes, we we need a close up of this. Get get a close up of me practicing hygiene. We're in a we're in a pandemic. Wash your hands, your presents. We're gonna add ourselves some milk, and then I have this. This is the only chicken that we have in the house, so I'm gonna hand this off 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 screen to my to my co chef. This is the recipe. I could have printed it off, but you know, technology is the future. That's three. That's 150, so we're going to want to go to there. See how poorly this can go. Seems about right. Two tablespoons of a vanilla extract. It stinks. <laughs> we'll go with it. I, d I, d I didn't know vanilla smelled like this. When I, when I, the only vanilla smell I know is like vanilla ice cream, and that does not smell like vanilla ice cream. And now it just says combine it until it's all silky smooth. So I don't have a wooden spoon, so we're just going to gonna be here for the next few hours around the edges around the edges yes yes i'm the chef i'm the chef i, I knew that i was just testing you <laughs> i was just testing you this looks like a cake already what can i say it, it is just you know mary berry's quaking <laughs> better look out mary better look out great body bits of the edge there you go you try my patience now kid This is painful. I think this cake batter's more tired than I am. <laughs> uh, that's also in the recipe, don't worry. And then, yeah, to add the boiling water. Make sure you don't burn yourself on boiling water, because you know it's hot. Ah yes, hot, hot to the touch. Third degree burn. A little at a time until smooth. So we're gonna slowly incorporate this. Everyone gets to know each other, you know? They might, they might already know each other. It might be like an awkward high school reunion. I want to make sure everyone, everyone's familiar with each other. Picture the cake is like a conversation. The hot water is how much you want to be adding to the conversation. You don't just want to throw all your, all your artillery in at once. You want to slowly add it. You know that was that was that was sort of like talking about what happened after high school. This is talking about uni life. Oh yeah, it looks like viscous hot chocolate mix. Okay, someone got a bunch of hot chocolate mix, and it might because it might because it's cocoa powder. That, that's that's the connection. I just, we're making a chocolate cake. Well, wow. I'm gonna need to lie down after this. It is combined. Now that we've combined all of our ingredients, it says to split evenly in between the two sandwich tins. We've got our oven ready to put them in. I'm gonna wear my oven gloves to make sure I don't burn my hands. You know, I want to keep my hands in pristine condition, ideally. I'd say it's at about. Stop right there. You hold it above each bowl and then scrape it inwards if you, if you can. I like the way you think, kid. Just give each one a little tap. 
so as you can see we had a bit of a leakage here but that's fine you know it was just it was just you wanted to escape you gotta you gotta make sure they have no no means of escaping so put them on trees just to be safe damn boy there we go and that's gonna be wonky you know we're all a bit wonky and now we leave it for 25 to 35 minutes or until the top is nice and firm and a skewer comes out clean when we stab it now let's do the icing. We've got our ingredients for the icing. We've got here, we've got some double cream. Don't know what makes it so double. It's only one 200 milliliter jug. Nothing double about it. Here we've got some chocolate. Some, some, some chocolate. We're going to pour it into this here sauce. Get in there, you. Add our chocolate now. Oh, the temptation is so strong to eat this. I'm using dark chocolate. So you can use any chocolate if you want. We bought a bit extra, so a little treat for me. Oh, yeah. So add the rest of this and the rest of that. And a little bit of this, a bit of pizzazz, you know. On your t-shirt, by the way, the um, chocolate. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I'm Push saving it. that for later. Ready? Are we going to turn on the cooker? Put it onto three. We put it onto low. And now we're just going to sit there and wait. Ooh. Would you look at that? Oh, it's succulent. It's, 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 it's melted chocolate and cream. It, it can't get much better. You can leave, leave a spoon in there. Leave a spoon. I want to lick it. Okay. I want to lick it because I'm a greedy bugger. That's melted chocolate. Are you getting close up on my filthy mouth? Now we're going to leave that to the side for an hour. The cake's meant to be coming out in the next 10 to 20 minutes. That is o'clock. I'll get back to you when that cake is removed and that's drying. I'm gonna go play some Dungeons and Dragons. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Jesus Christ! Catching, catching me off guard again, are we? I'll give you a little progress report, shall I? As you can see here, we've got a cake, but, but you can see, well, it's a bit different. It's a bit different. What's, what's wrong with this cake? Well, it's got no head. It's gone. And we've ate half of it as well because you know we're, we're greedy buggers here. We have our our nice our nice icing here that we're going to spread on the cake, sort of like you put butter on a, on a on a bread. I might even put a little bit there and a little bit there, and there we go. Oh, we'll just a little bit there. We'll smooth off around the edges. Make sure it's. I'll smooth you off around the edges if you don't stop chipping in, lad. I would say that's. I would. I would say that's looking pretty damn good. It's time for the transfer, and then. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm like, I'm like Gordon Ramsay, if he was transgender woman. Should I got one of those like cake turntable things, you know what I mean? Lady Susan. A Lady Su- Who's Susan? That was a joke by the way, I know Susan's not a real person. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I'm not, I'm not stupid. Oh, it takes me back, this does. It takes me back. I don't know what to, it takes me back though. What should I call this video? Baking with brow. Ah. Because I'm poly brow, you know. Bada bing. Bada boom. Well, would you look at that? That's my child right there. Now, I don't want to cut into it, so I want to just get some of the remaining ice in and just sort of put it on my cake, my little scrap of cake here. Mmm. I said it once and I'll say it again. Mary Berry, I'm coming for you. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Baking with Brown. I say this like it's going to be a series. It's not. This is a one-off. Actually, no, I might do it again. Hey, if you can get me to maybe 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Please. I'm just going to... I'm just going to... Just before I finish the video, I'd like to share the moment where we cut the cake for the first time. That's all me, that. That's, I'm taking a photo of that. I'm taking them off. Oh, God, look at that. Look at that. That's all me. All me.